Grace Shalom Hopkins and welcome back to another episode of Spin Weekly and it's Christmas time. I'm just really excited about the holidays. I mean, first there was Halloween and Thanksgiving and now there's Christmas and Hanukkah and holy macaroni and I had a baby and oh, this whole bottom half of the year has been very eventful for me. So, I'm excited. I am going to be carding a Christmas bat this episode and I wanted something that was a more modern take on the classic colors. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So there is a disclaimer. I was baby wearing in this video and like my sweater bunched up in the weirdest way and it looks like my body is shaped really funny. It's not. It, it's normal. I don't, I don't know why that happened. So, without further ado, Christmas bat and weird baby wearing carding outfit.
did it. So I really like how this went. I love the gradient that I constructed and the green is pretty basic, but I like how, I don't know, I like how basic it is. I like how it's deep and sparkly and there's a lot of different tones, but it's still just that nice holiday green. And I love my candy cane gradient. I really, again, I think the, uh, there was this long lock fiber in there. Um, it's from a fiber sampler box by Bakewell Hearts. Excellent brand, by the way. Um, and I, when it's spun, it's going to make a really interesting pokey kind of texture, and I love that. So rather than a traditional halo, it's going to be kind of like spiky. So I don't know, I just feel like it's really got this like modern, sort of rustic, Norwegian feel about it. I don't know. People who are actually from Norway are going to laugh at me at that point. Sorry, Norwegians. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this like, and if you are already a subscriber, you can make sure you don't miss any of these crazy spinning videos that I do, weird outfits and all, if you hit the subscribe button. I hope you do because I really value you. So, I'll see you next time. pajamas and my glasses uh, because 
I put the baby to bed in a swing so I could finish this yarn. So like, mom boss stories. Um, so it's basically midnight and I have to go wake her up for her next feeding and move her into the real bed, like a real life person, and hope she doesn't notice. She will. Um, but I finished this yarn and I balled it up because I already know what I'm going to do with it. So you'll see more of it when I work on it, but it's really pretty. So what I am going to do is I'm going to crochet 24 little stockings into an advent calendar. So I don't think I will number them. I think I will just make 24 stockings and then I'm going to crochet like just regular chain the little bunting to hold it all together. So I have a little pattern and it says it takes five minutes per stocking. So I'm gonna try it. You guys know how great I am with finishing projects, but I'm gonna try it out. And I have another yarn that coordinates with this uh, in case this one's not enough. So I think I'm gonna do like the, the band the top part where you stick your leg, except there's gonna be no leg because it's an advent calendar. Do you know what? Do you know what I'm talking about? Sock top. That thing. I'm gonna make the sock top trim from that yarn, and it's a deep burgundy kind of yarn. Um, and do the the chain out of that. So hopefully that will work. And like you saw in the video. This is just a basic self-striping. I did sort it out into 24 pieces, so there was a green and a sort of candy cane color for each of the 24 stockings, but then I realized I don't really know how much yardage that is going to be, so it's more like a fairly equal self-striping. So, I'm excited to start that, and I kind of want to start it now, but it's midnight and I probably shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little weird. The lighting was a little strange and it was very straightforward compared to most of my normal spins. I just divided the bats and then spun end to end, which is almost unheard of in my world. But I think it's really nice. I, I really like it. So let me know what you think. Leave a thumbs up and if you'd like to catch more of this kind of video, hopefully less pajamas, <laughs> hit subscribe and I will see you next time.